So, I am Karen. I am the everything behind this channel uh, that's called A Little Kinder. And I just got a box. And every time I get a box, I think of one of two songs. One being from my kids' childhood and Blue's Clues. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Or that um, Bark Box commercial, the peanut butter box. The peanut butter box is here. I, they just cracked me up. So, today was definitely the happy mail day. I got two boxes. We'll talk about both of them. First one that I got um, was a close to my heart order. I have been struggling to find my white cardstock that I love. And so I reached out to Miranda, who is a close to my heart consultant, and I asked her about the cardstock. I was like, now, I am guessing that this is what you use for all your cut files. She is a member of the Confessions of a Paper Attic cut file design team. So when I reached out to her, I asked her, I said, you know, I'm assuming, and you know where that gets us, that you're using close to my heart cards, close to my heart cardstock, um, for most of your cut files, and she's like, yes, it cuts beautifully, and so I decided to grab a pack because I am struggling to find the smoothie cardstock from Basil. So I just got this, and I will say, y'all, when I opened this up, this paper feels yummy. There is no texture to it whatsoever. It is maybe just the tiniest bit thinner than my basil. So this is what I usually use. It's basil marshmallow. Can you hear this? So that's what it sounds like when I flick it, which is kind of how I test to see how thick something is. And this is what this one does. So they're, they're flicking about the same. I think that this is just the tiniest bit lighter. I don't know. I don't know the specs on any of this. Um, this may be the thickness of coconut swirl. Because I know coconut swirl is a little bit thinner than marshmallow. But I am super, super excited. I cannot wait to use this. I have a feeling it's going to take inks beautifully. I'm not sure how it's going to stand up to mixed media. So at some point, we will play with some mixed media on here and see how it stands up. I may also reach out and ask Melanie. So in, this, in my Close to My Heart order, I also grabbed some of their dots. I don't have anything in this colorway and I love gray and I use black and white all the time. Now my go-to are the Alta News. Try to grab the pack. So these are my go-tos. And when I saw these in the Close to My Heart catalog, I thought, you know, this really reminds me of my Alta News. They are not exactly the same. But... I thought, hey, let's try them. Let's see what's going on. Who knows? I may absolutely fall in love and I may need every color that they have, but I just, I grabbed a couple because I kind of wanted to check them out. They feel very much like Alta News. I think there may be just the slightest hump difference <laughs> where these may not be quite as humpy. I don't know. Now that I'm feeling them, I'm not thinking that's a thing. Anyway, I do know that these had three sizes of hearts and three sizes of stars, where the Altenu only has one size of star and two sizes of hearts. So I was really excited about adding some of that into the studio to work with. I love black and white. I could use it in everything. I love the grays. Yeah, this is called the gray pack. This one is called the teal pack. And then I did the black and white pack. So... That was my close to my heart order. I'm sure my husband was thinking, geez Louise, ma'am, what on earth? Now let's talk about this box. This box of loveliness came from Scrapbook Generations. Now, I'm in Arkansas. I'm in central Arkansas, so I'm in the middle part of the state. And Scrapbook Generations is in Springfield, Missouri. They are the closest that I know of scrapbook store to me. And they are on my bucket list to like, go like the mecca of scrapbooking things so 
I wanted to see, being as that they're in Springfield and I'm in Central Arkansas, how quickly this order would get to me. So I ordered, y'all, I'm, I'm mean. <laughs> I really am mean. I ordered early Friday morning, probably about the time they were opening, because I wanted to see what would happen. Wanted to, to test them. How quickly would it get here being a weekend? Like, would it ship out Friday and get here Saturday? Would it ship out Friday? Like, when would it get here? And this came priority. So I don't, I don't know how that all works. I, I don't. But I will say, ordering it Friday morning, today is Monday, and it was here today. So that is quick to me. Makes me think that if I ordered on a Monday, I would have it before Wednesday or by Wednesday. Thursday at the latest. So that's a really quick turnaround time, especially when everything that I order comes out of Michigan or Utah or Rangers in New Jersey, and they just take longer to get here. All right, let's dive into what I got. I grabbed a hold of the travel kit, the current travel kit, not the new one that's coming out, but the current Simple Stories travel kit, the here and there. And I grabbed it because we are getting ready to take a camper trip and we are going out west and so we're going to do Yellowstone not sure what else we're doing if I have my way we're swinging through Springfield <laughs> we'll see I'm not in charge of driving and there are other people going with us so we will see but I thought that this might be the collection that I take with me for my scrapping on the road series that I want to do while we're gone and what I really want to do for that series, and I'm taking my printer, I have the Epson PM400, so I do have the picture mate. I mean, it's not huge. It's not tiny. It's it's about the size of a good size Bible. I mean, it's only like that. I mean, the footprint's not very big, so that won't be a problem. I'm going to take that with me. I'm going to take a very limited amount of supplies with me, and we're going to scrap from the road. I'm going to take the camera and the camera setup, and we're going to take all that. And we'll see. I mean, it, this could be an epic bust. It could be horrific. I know where in the camper I will be scrapping, and I will probably have one to two days to test everything before we leave. Yeah, it's going to be tight, but we're going to do it. So, let's dive in. Simple stories here and there. I grabbed to take with us the floral bits, the bits and pieces, the collector's kit, which has the journal ones and the page pieces. So the, the ones that weren't in here were the extra ones that I grabbed. So these are the page pieces down here. These are the journal pieces. There's a cardstock sticker. No, cardstock sticker and 12 by 12 sticker. So I grabbed the florals, the icon stuff the foam stickers, the sticker book, the decorative brads, and the enamel dots. Now, I am going to add some cardstock to this and let me show you what I think I'm gonna use. This is Park Lane. It is from, uh, I just lost the name, Joann's. I found this pack because this little sticker claims that it's the best for cutting on die cutting machines. And so it gives you all of the settings. I have a Cameo too. That's how old mine is. So this was a wealth of knowledge for me. Given I probably could have read it and then moved on instead of getting it. But I wanted to see. I wanted to see what happened. So I have had amazing luck with it so far. But I loved all of these colors. They really seem to go with this collection kind of makes me think that I could probably get away with um, adding maybe some Night of Navy paper to pull out some of the dark blues that are in here and maybe Old Olive out of my Stampin' Up! 8.5 by 11 so that I have some things to mat with. But I really feel like this is going to come together and make a really pretty um, travel kit. And so my plan is just to take a few things. I really don't want to take everything. We really don't have room for everything. And yeah, I don't want to be that person. So I think this is going to be the cardstock I take. Like I said, it has a great range of colors. I do have 
one or two other packs and I may pull the navy out of there um, and see what it is. All right, so that's that. Oh, before we do that, let's do the singles. I did get, we'll stick with simple stories and then we'll go to that one. I did get some singles. So one of the things that has always bothered me about these, and it's just, it's, it's the nature of the beast. It's either you get it in the kit or you buy it as singles. So I like to get the kit because the value of it, my downside is you only get one of each piece of paper. So there are 12 sheets of double-sided paper, which means if I love side A and side B, I have one sheet of paper I gotta figure out. So I went through and I grabbed some of my favorites. And this is how they came packaged. Let's see. And I, I think I also grabbed some Disney things. I know I did because I have this Echo Park die cut. All right, all right, this says here and there. So out of the here and there, I did this one that is the three by four element. So it has the dot on the back and it has these. Really love that. Then I did the clouds that had the journaling cut aparts. Really liked those. Of course, I'm going to always get a second of the tag. Yo, look at these tags. I mean, seriously, we're going to Yellowstone. Perfection. Now we're not flying, but I know how to fix that little line drive. <laughs> and I think it'd be hysterical to have something that says first class fun when we're in a pull behind camper. Yeah. So I think these are gorgeous. Uh, they're fantastic. The backs could be used for journaling or you could cut them apart and do tuck ins. Fantastic. Then there's this one. Y'all look at this. <gasps> I just love it. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And then it has this really pretty tone. Not really tone on tone. I think this is a little more peachy in the background than the clay color. But it's really, really pretty. Got that one. Uh, let's see. That gets into Disney. So this is everything that I got for here and there. Not a lot, like I said, not taking everything in the world. I am taking my good camera. I'm going to slide these into this package while we're talking. I am taking my good camera. It's a Canon D60? D80. D something. I used to have a 40 and um, it just it's a very sad story, but um, it got put down in a bag, a travel bag, like a backpack, without being put in its case with a blender water bottle like this. And somehow the lid popped open and then the next thing you knew there was water all in the bag and in my camera. So it was a very sad day. Next up is, we'll do Disney. I grabbed some more Disney things because I have lots and lots of Disney pictures and you guys, I am so excited. I am going to this fall run my very first live Disney race. And so I wanted to have plenty of things ready to go. So I love this die from Echo Park. Um, you do kind of cut the little circle, I mean the little circle, the little heart out, although I kind of like it right there where it is. Here they show it there, it's up here. I think that's super cute too. So we grabbed that. I grabbed, this is all from their Wish Upon a Star 2 collection. I grabbed these stickers, the 12 by 12 stickers. There's a little castle again. I love this little film strip. I think these, some of these things are also in um, the Silhouette Design Studio where you can purchase those because I think I've, I've, this is the film strip that I own, I think. Let's see, paper-wise, let me pull this all up and out. These are all singles, so I ordered two of them. So we have side A and side B. I really love side A. Then we have this one. 
Love all the cut-aparts. They are fantastic. And we have side B, which are the arrows. That's super cute. Super cute. It would be cute to um, make a pocket with the arrows and have these as the pocket across the bottom. So cute. I really am liking the colors in this collection better than I do some of the other Disney ones. Yes, it's yellow. Yes, it's red. Yes, it's, I mean, yes, it's a Disney. But they've added in the, the pale blue and the pink and the brown. And, you know, the, the pale pink and the pale blue really go to Fantasyland. But then you get over into Adventureland or Frontierland and you pick up some of the brown. So I really appreciate the addition of those colors to this collection. All right. Then we have this one. Love it. Tickets on one side and then the black and brown dot. Just perfect. Just perfect. Perfect paper. All right. We have this one, which again is cut apart. If they make cut aparts, I'm getting them because they're perfect with the cute castles. This I love. I love. I may have to get some more of it. I may have to get more of all of this because two may not be enough. We will find out. Make my stack pretty. My OCD is kicking in because it's the end of the day and I'm tired of mess. All right. So we have stars. So cute. And then look. Oh, oh, love it. Love it. Another cut apart. And yes, I have two. I love this plaid. That to me is very frontier land. Very, well, maybe not adventure land, but definitely very frontier land, but also still very Disney. And then I love the cut aparts. Visit Main Street. What a fantastic day. This could actually, well, I think that this could actually work over at MGM because, uh, well, they don't call it MGM anymore, y'all. I just dated myself so badly over at Disney Hollywood Studios because of the um, sorcerer's hat that was there. Love this. Love this. Love this. All righty. Next one. Look at this dot. So stinking cute. And then this is the back side. I love that the Skyliner cars are on here now. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Would work for both Disney World and Disneyland because, you know, Disneyland has the, at a California Adventure, they have, I don't know what they call it, but it's got Mickey Mouse's face on the front of it and it goes around Ferris wheel. So this could work both places, which I really love. Love, love, love. I do have hopes and dreams to one day get to Disneyland and California Adventure as an adult and take lots and lots of pictures. All right, more cut aparts and sequins on the back. So stinking cute. All right, so that is the Disney section of my order. And let's see. I'm gonna pull that out of the way now. My last little bit of simple stories that I grabbed was I got a little bit of retro summer. I, y'all, I've gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth about this collection. And I may be sad that I didn't get more. Let's see if we can cut these open. I, yeah, I really, mm, I can always order more, right? So I really love it. And when I look at all the pictures online, I'm like, oh, I need all of that. I need all of it, all of it. Well, unfortunately, whoops, that didn't cut well. Unfortunately, I am reaching the spot where, don't tell my husband, but my space is getting so full that it's, I got to use what I have. And of course, everybody is releasing super, super cute collections and it makes it that much harder. And I do have some things on pre-order. I have a lot of things on pre-order. I have the Doodle Bug dog collection on pre-order. I have, what else? Um, oh, I have Pretty Little Studios, their new collection. I got a ton of it from Scrapbook Generations. They did a pre-order. Love me some pre-orders. All right, so Retro Summer. Love this. I love the colors of it. I just, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't have little kids. 
We don't do tons of pictures like with ice cream. I just, ugh, but I love the colors of this. They're just me, pinks and teals. and So here's what I did, I compromised. I got the six by eight pad because it will work beautifully with my traveler's notebook. And so, look, even my traveler's notebook matches. And I need to get caught up on it because I am way behind. So I thought that I would grab the six by eight as a compromise for a, a, to make some th pages in my traveler's notebook. I grabbed the stickers, loved them. I always love a good alphabet. And these are shadowed. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see how they're cut out? They're not ovals because like the four, let's see if I can get it to pop. See how it goes in around? Ooh, I just lifted that all the way off. Well, that's even better. See how it goes all the way around? But it's shadowed and that's, that is very cool to me. All right, I need to put four back in there because these would be perfect for making a list. All right. Love that alpha. Circles. Another alpha. And then some icon pieces. So, I also grabbed, yeah, you know it, some 12 by 12s. And they would be the cut aparts. So, I grabbed the tags because I thought they were gorge. Gorgeous. And I love the backs. And then I grabbed this cut apart. Partly because I saw it as a way to... Um, yeah, to get some more things. Like, I love this retro summer. I may have to get some of the journaling bits and other things for this collection. We'll see. But there's that. And then the last thing I got, I had, so I did kind of the same thing that I just did with retro summer. I did with pink fresh spring vibes. I went in and I said, all right, what papers do I absolutely love do I have to have? You can get three, maybe four. And I did that, and I love them. And I've used every one of them, and I want more. So I got the whole paper pack. Now this one, it doesn't say, but I think it's just one of each as well. So the ones that I haven't had, oh y'all, I don't know if I've ever opened a collection of theirs. This is interesting. Very interesting. All right. Let's see. Let me take it out of this shrink wrap. But I do think it's just onesies. That's two papers. Hold on, let me see. Ooh, that's pretty. That's one I don't have. Don't have this one. Don't have that one. Don't have, I have this one. You should know that. Pink is my favorite color. I have this one because I loved the mixed media look in the background. And I did not get the cut aparts shot right. Now I have the cut aparts. What's on the B side? Ooh, that's pretty. Did not grab this one, so that's a new one to me. Oh, I love that. Oh, so pretty. I did grab this one. Love that. Did not get this one, but I think it is beautiful. Ooh, and look at the back. Maybe I did. No, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Love the words. And then the plaid. These are really pretty. Those would be fun fussy cut. Blue and white. And then this one. That's really pretty that on the back. So, grab this to add to the Spring Vibes that I already have. I went ahead and grabbed the cardstock stickers and the ephemera pack so that I could have some additional pieces for my Pink Fresh Friday videos. So, my friends, thank you for unboxing with me. Here we go. Great, great service from Scrapbook Generations. It came super quick. I am not sure how they did it, 
but they literally got it out the same day that I ordered it because I ordered it really early. They are on Central Standard Time. I don't know where you are in the world, but that does make a difference. And I had it today. I mean, it, it, this was really fast turnaround. I was really, really pleased with them. I would love it if you would like this video. It helps YouTube show it to others so that they can find me too. I would also love it if you would be a subscriber. If you are not already, YouTube lets you know when I put out brand new content. And I do put out two to three videos a week, including my weekly scrap lift crafter noon video that comes out every Sunday at noon. Let's see. Until next time, my friend, go make some memories. Bye-bye.